nice exciting day today on the current farm that we're on. We're getting seven new Highland cows. Um, I will show you when they get here. But they're gonna be up the whole mountainside. We finished fencing off uh, the other day, so here they come. just walking up the mountainside here to find out where they went because they went running after they got out of the trailer. <laughs> after hiking up half the mountain we finally found them up here halfway up. Can't see them. old so he still needs to be bottle fed a couple times a day so we just found him here sleeping in the brush and he's, uh, started licking his lips and came running for his bottle <laughs> Somebody wants another bottle. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Rub him by his ears. Oh, he's got gunk in your hair. Where's my other bottle?
backpack, but he's in his glory feeding his little baby cow. Okay, so we just got about halfway up the mountainside here that we have fenced. They have about 15 to 18 acres, Chris says, that we fenced off for them. And we have to find them every night and morning to feed the baby cow. property. We're here with our Highland cattle, and people may be wondering why we chose this breed. A couple of the reasons we decided to choose them are you can raise them for their meat, and they're a dual purpose, you can also use their milk. Another reason is uh, they're a cold hardy animal. They have two coats, which um, means in the winter time, they stay relatively warm. You don't have to shelter them like you would uh, many other breeds and also they stay pretty dry being that their their inner layer creates an oil that keeps uh, the moisture off of them. And they look just really cool in the field. And, and one of the other main reasons why is they're a very docile breed. They're not very aggressive. Um, you know, we have no problems going in with them and, and handling them if need be. Um, and you don't have to worry most of the time about them charging you or, or trying to attack you. We also have pretty big woodlands here, so they like to forage on all the stuff up there. Yeah, most, most cattle won't, uh, won't eat some of the things that they eat. Um, so if you don't have a lot of pasture, but you do have uh, brush and, and other uh, trees, they will eat them if, if there isn't something else available for them. With the many different breeds of cattle available, we have come to the decision that this will be the best fit for our current property we are on, as well as our future ranch. 
We would also like to take a second to thank Craig and Judy from High Valley Ranch on trusting us and taking over part of their herd. Don't forget to like and subscribe to follow us on our journey as we build our future homestead.